Hello everybody, Jama Malney here. Welcome to another scrapbook process video. Today I'm gonna to create an eight and a half by 11 double page layout. But if you don't scrapbook an eight and a half by 11, don't fear, I'm gonna be talking about ways that you can expand it to 12 by 12. And what we're mainly gonna talk about is choosing paper to go with your photos and make sure that they pop. These are photos from my sister's Hawaii trip. And if you've been following along here on my channel, I have been working on her Hawaii album in the eight and a half by 11 format. And for this, I'm going to be using the new Cape Cod collection. It is perfect for these photos. Now, if you look at these photos, there's a lot of green. The tint of the water is a little bit more green. We have maybe a little bit of blue hue up in the sky here, even though it's a little stormy. But what I really want to draw out is the sunset. See how beautiful that sunset is. I love it and I wanna make that a highlight. This was when they first arrived to their hotel and um, we're just checking things out. And I was really drawn to this paper. This reminded me of the sunset, these lines here. And so even though there's really no orange in this paper pack, I'm gonna bring it out in this paper and then in other ways as well. Now I have the scrapbook kit in front of me and I recently did a whole walkthrough um, unboxing of what I got from the new catalog so you can see close-ups of this. But these two papers are exclusive to the scrapbook collection and then the rest of these are part of the paper pack. And then there's a sticker sheet that goes along with that as well. So lots of fun little icons and there's a little bit of orange here. So I'll probably use some of these in my layout today. And then the scrapbook kit comes with um, everything you need to make including the guide to create these three two-page layouts here. So if you want to just follow along and, you know, have a cutting guide and know exactly what you're doing for 12 by 12 scrapbooking, this is a really, really great option. It comes with a bunch of bonus pieces as well. So like these extra papers and then there's die cuts and these are all, they're all labeled and they're all part of the layouts that are created that you just follow along with. So it's really fun foolproof, you get the cardstock as well. So I like to basically deconstruct these kits and use them for my own layouts. And I love that they include so many extra pieces. Now the kit does come with some embellishments, but I got the full embellishment pack too, because I wanted to definitely incorporate more of these. There's some toffee, uh, laser cut paperboard pieces, some white paperboard pieces and then some acrylic pieces. So we'll be looking at those closer. So let me show you the sketches that I am thinking of using. So this is the creative design team eight and a half by 11 sketchbook. We have a six by eight sketchbook as well. And um, there's a 12 by 12 one coming. So um, I've been using this for this album as well as my own vacation album, but I was drawn to this one because I've got the four by six photo that's like the focal photo here of the family, even though it's a little bit washed out. And then I've got my two three by four photos like this. And then this was a different day and it's kind of even got a different vibe. It's not that sunset. So I'm, I might include it on here if I can. Otherwise, I'll include it on another page. This was kind of like a solo photo that didn't really go with other photos, but I'm sure I could include it somewhere. So I might include it on this layout. I might not, um, but this would work here, but it's got a lot of journaling spot. I know my sister's not gonna do a ton of journaling just because I know her, she's not a scrapbooker. She'll kind of put the date and maybe a couple, jot a couple little notes um, after I give this to her. But um, I'm thinking that I can kind of maybe move this photo, which would possibly be this one, like up a little bit and maybe have that up here and maybe just have a little bit of journaling down here. So kind of adapt the sketch to work for my photos and my needs. And that's something that I love to always point out and show you guys how to do because uh, it's important to take a jumping off point and be able to fit it to your photos and work for your photos because it's your scrapbook and your memories. And then the other one I was thinking about was this one. So this calls for a five by seven, but I would just replace it with a four by six and then these photos are different too. So, um, but I really like these lines and I'm thinking I might tear them and make them sort of like waves or I might do that anyway on a different layout. Um, but these could kind of be, 
I don't know, they're different sizes, but they could kind of be like this or like this and this and kind of arranged in a similar way, even though my photo sizes are different. So I'm gonna play around with it, but just wanna kind of show you my jumping off point and then we'll come back and um, I'll start assembling this. Okay, I decided to go with this one and I've made my paper selections. So these are the three that I'm gonna uh, go with. I talked about this one and I went with this one because it's got a little bit more of the green that I wanted to bring out. I did decide not to use that other photo because I thought that it just didn't go with the vibe of the storm clouds and the sunset of these photos, which is what I'm trying to highlight. So I've got this one with more green and then I've got this one because there's a lot of toffee in here and just the warm tones from the orange, I thought that it went well. So when I decide where I, which paper I want where, I did kind of determine where where are my photos are gonna go and which paper do I want behind them? So in this case, I'm gonna have my one photo over here and it's going to be kind of overlapping two. So I put them on here. Now I'm gonna mat them. And by the way, this is just hammer mill paper. This is what I use when I use eight and a half by 11. I like the hammer mill because it's a really bright white, almost like the white daisy. So that's what I'm using here for my base pages, which I'm pretty much gonna cover up. I'm just gonna build on them. And then for my mats. So I've got my papers on the Versamat and that's gonna help me see how much space I have. So this is gonna go to five and a half this one's going to be three inches. So it'll be like this is how the sketch has it. So it'll be kind of like this. And this photo, I do like it on here. We definitely need to have a mat of some sort. I like to mat my photos in white. That doesn't make it pop enough. So I often double mat. And so this is where I start playing with what colors I want behind my photo. So I brought in some craft paper. I like to use craft paper sometimes in place of the toffee. It's just kind of a fun, um, it's a fun texture, just kind of a fun little paper to use. And to me, it just doesn't really do anything for the photo. It kind of washes it out. It's already washed out here and it doesn't do anything to help make this pop. So let me try the Lagoon, which is the, paper, the color in that palm paper. And I do like how that pops. Let me try the orange though too. You know what? I don't like it with the photo because it competes with the sunset. We want to make the sunset stand out and it's just sort of blending in with that sunset. So I think that I do like it on the lagoon. And so I'll do a little bit of a white background. Well, let's see. Yeah, I think I like it on the white. I think I'm gonna double mat. So a double mat over here. And then this sketch calls for three papers. So I think I'm gonna use all three of these. I like them together. This side has just two, and then this side has three. So there's three strips going down like this. I think this one is gonna be the one that's right here. And then we'll have this, and then we'll have a little strip of this over on the far side. So let's kind of see how that looks, these three lined up. All right, so I do like that. And then let's test. I like these on the toffee. These don't get washed out as much as this one does on that toffee. So this is gonna work. They're gonna kind of overlap these two papers and I do like that. So let's see if I like it with a white mat and the lagoon. So I think I'm liking that. I'm liking these lines to bring out the sunset. I'm liking all of these tones together. I'm gonna go ahead and cut my paper and then we'll come back. So I have my paper glued down and I already die cut and prepared these little shells that are from the Cape Cod card making kit. It comes with these five dies with the shells, starfish, sand dollar, and they've got some really fun detail in them as well. And then I learned a little tip from Crafty Concepts with Erin. She spread some Stickles glitter gel on the edge of some of hers and I really, really liked the look. So I just used some regular Stickles and spread that on the edges. And I love how it kind of looks like sand and we're gonna end up coloring those, adding just a little bit of color to make them pop even more later on. They look really cool. 
So I have some of the stickers and the paperboard pieces out here that I'm playing with. The ones that I thought that I might use that would fit with this layout the best. I did already take the stick off my stickers off camera with my anti-static pouch. It's just a little pouch that has powder in it that's typically used for embossing, but it's great for taking the stick off of your stickers so you can move them around the page. Now I was thinking I probably should get my title on the page because that definitely needs to fit somewhere before I get too carried away with the rest of my little pieces all around the page because I'm going to do some really fun embellishment clusters. So I'm using this Beach Life title which is from the paperboard pieces in this collection and since the words were kind of short I didn't like them stacked on top and below that 4x6 photo. It just made everything a little bit too vertical and we already have a lot of vertical lines with the paper strips. I do like the you know contrast of those horizontal lines in the paper though too. We've got a nice contrast going there. So I really liked the title kind of making an L around the photo. The first part of the title, the beach, isn't standing out very well. So we're gonna do a little ink treatment to that later on. And that fun sun I actually had in my die cut drawer. I had cut it out for another project and ended up not using it. And it's already got some ink blended on it and some um, Stickles glitter gel and it looks really cool. So I'm just playing around with some other pieces, trying to fill in all of the little spots. I'm not paying super close attention to the embellishment spots on my sketch. At this point, I have, you know, put the background paper the way that it told me, except I did end up adding another strip, that wood green strip on the left. I ended up adding that. I felt like it just needed a little bit more over there. If you were creating a 12 by 12 layout, you could add another strip to this and just make the photos bigger or add a couple more photos and you could easily stretch this to 12 by 12. I'm really loving all of the different textures that we have going on here. We've got the paperboard and not to mention how intricate and beautiful that coral is and then the stickers and then the die cuts that I created on my own. And now here I'm bringing in, I found this little orange shell from the Deck the Palms collection, which is from a couple or a few years ago. And I wanted to bring in a little bit more orange and this orange shell was just perfect. So I'm gonna layer that with one of the other shells the other great thing about those shells that I die cut is they have the glitter on them so that adds another sparkly texture. Now I've mentioned before in some of my sister's layouts that she doesn't like sparkle and glitter but um, you know what she's just gonna have to live with it if I'm making her a scrapbook layout. I'm trying not to go too overboard like I would on my own layouts but it's just a little hint of it. At this point, I'm pretty happy with where my layout is at. I'm gonna start adding some little embellishments. I love these little birds. I'm kind of using them in place of how I would use like gems or dots or something. They're just a nice little sprinkling around the page. But there was something that was just not sitting quite right for me. So I'm gonna take all of this off of the right page because I wanted that striped paper, the horizontal striped paper, to be on the outside of the page to match the other one being on the outside of the page. I just thought that it kind of finished things off nicely and I couldn't just put everything back where I had it because of the paper that was in the background. Certain things wouldn't show up as well or didn't look as good on the striped paper or on the wood grain paper. So I'm going to do my embellishing a little bit different, but in the end, I actually like how it all turned out even better. So I'm moving this coral cluster over on the right, and I like that better because then it's not so close to that beach life with the shells over on the other page. I thought that the clusters were kind of competing with each other before. Now this Beach Babe sticker, I do have to leave it right here because the arrow is pointing to the right and that's really the only place that it fits. So I'm going to do something over there so that it stands out better on that wood grain paper. And then this palm tree, I didn't, I 
I wasn't really crazy about it being back where I had it before. So I'm going to put it over here on the left and I like how it adds a little bit more vertical um, interest and fills that spot on the right a little bit more. I really wanted to use some of those acrylic shapes, but they are more of a blue color and I was trying to stay away from much blue. I was going more in the green direction. So I just pulled in three of the small pieces, a couple shells and a starfish, and I'll scatter those around the page. Now I'm still having a little bit of an issue with that spot where the seagull is. And so I'm going to address that. I'm going to try adding a little sand dollar die cut under there. And I'm going to scatter some of those other glittered up shells around the page. I have this half circle die cut from the scrapbook kit and also this sand dollar and geotag. I'm not really liking the sand dollar, but I like that geotag. I think those work well in that small cluster up there, but where the seagull is, I needed something to anchor that embellishment cluster a little bit better. So I pulled out a tag and I cut that in French vanilla, which is the same color that I cut all of the shells with as well. There's a mix of French vanilla and bright white on this page. So I'm kind of mixing the two colors, but I wanted to add a little bit of a treatment to this tag. It was a little bit stark, just plain. So I'm taking the palm um, kind of background stamp that's from that card making stamp and die set, the same one that those die cut shells are on. And I'm doing second generation to cover that tag and give it a little bit of interest. And this also helps it to kind of match that half circle that I put up in that top right corner. So now that embellishment cluster is popping a little bit more, I'm going to ink around the edges of this tag so that it pops a little better off of that wood green background since we have some similar colors but this is where i decided you know what i need to ink up all of these shells and the sand dollar and stuff and this beach um, title as well so that they stand out so on this beach title i'm just coming from the bottom and taking the toffee ink with my foam blending tool to make it pop just a little bit um, it's going to look kind of like sand is was my thought and some of it's a little bit darker on the bottom and then it kind of blends out a little bit. It's hard to tell on the camera, but it really does stand out better in real life. And then I inked around the edges of a couple of the other page pieces on the page, like this little geo tag. And then I wanted to put a little scrap paper behind the circle on the geo tag because otherwise it was just the background showing through and it wasn't like just one color. So I like the lagoon behind there and then I'm gonna ink around this beach babe sticker so that that pops a little bit more. And on all of the die cut pieces, I'm gonna switch to Distress Oxide ink. I'm using Peacock Feathers here, which is very close to Lagoon. And I wanted to do this, the Distress Oxide since I'm kind of going over some glitter and I'm taking a very light hand. I'm going around the edges and then I'm just brushing very lightly in the centers too. I'm almost applying it like I would a paint very lightly and um, I'm really really liking the result of this it almost looks distressed so we still have that white but it's just got a very little bit of color and again it does show up better in person than it does here on camera but it's just very very lovely I'll have still shots of this layout over on my Instagram and Facebook so you can see um, everything up close if you would like to and you'll probably get a better look at it that way but I'll show it um, close up at the end as well. I decided I also wanted to add a little ink to this coral piece just to give it a little bit more dimension and then I added it to the palm tree and also to those little banner pieces. I'm going to finish this up and get everything glued down off camera and then let's take a closer look at everything and then I'll show you compared to the sketch in just a moment. Look at that fun sun and this is the Stickles glitter gel that I used and I just spread it all over the sun with my finger. Here is that fun ink blending I did on the title and then on the shells. Hopefully you can get a better look at those. I spread the Stickles on with my finger as well. I forgot to mention that. 
and now here is the other page i did add a little bit of twine onto that tag and then i did a mix of gluing things down flat and adding thin 3d foam and then on those die cuts the stickles kind of curled them just a little bit so it gave them a little bit of a wave and i like that look so it makes them look a little more dimensional so i just love how it all turned out it's so fun so let me show you compared to this sketch you can definitely see where my inspiration came from but then i also made it my own by the way if you're interested in this sketchbook it is available as a digital download i will have it linked down in the description below here's another video on the screen that i think you might enjoy and if you enjoyed this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming scrapbooking videos thanks for watching and have a great day